let me start with the theme hymn of today's feast mm. i'm sure the the, the the choir will sing a little later mm. today we keep the feast of the epiphany and it is precisely about the magi who come all the way guided by a star right till the star of bethlehem and they come and worship the lord we three kings of orient are bearing gifts we traverse afar field and fountain moor and mountain following yonder star oh star of wonder star of night star with royal beauty bright westward leading still proceeding guide us to the perfect light i think we can sing together we three kings so for a and are bearing gifts we traverse so far field and found and more and more and following yonder star o star of wonder star of night star we royal beauty prime west where My dear brothers and sisters, Epiphany, today's feast means to shine upon, to manifest or to make known. The three wise men followed a special star, as we heard in the gospel of today. It was a tough journey. It took them many days, many weeks and many months to find the source of their love. peace and joy and hope in life they had a deep longing to find the special star the star of bethlehem st augustine in this regard says lord you have made us for yourself and our hearts are restless until they find rest in you there are certain biblical affirmations for the journey of wise men search and you will find matthew chapter 7 verse 7 when you search for me you will find me if you seek me with all your heart prophet jeremiah chapter 29 verse 13 faith can move mountain as jesus says in matthew chapter 17 verse 20 with a strong faith and trust the magi moved the mountains of comforts they left their families their friends their countries and their places of honor to find a special hero for their lives and the actions of the wise men before jesus they first they prostrated before the child jesus you know when we enter our churches today we normally genuflect or make a deep bow this reminds us that god is god and we are not we are always small before the lord secondly the magi immediately gave gifts to the child jesus and what gifts gold frankincense and myrrh this may be thought of as prophesying jesus future these gifts reminded uh, reminds us of the of the future of jesus as as uh, savior of the world as someone who would who would die for the people gold frankincense and myrrh gold was a gift for kings frankincense was offered to god 
in temple worship and myrrh was used by the high priest as an anointing oil and to prepare bodies for burial which means these were the gifts which the magi thought prophesying the life and mission and future of Jesus himself all in all today's feast is telling us that for god there are no foreigners no outsiders today in many countries of the world there is so much of discrimination against outsiders there is so much of difference between the people born in the place and people who came from outside but for our god there are no there are no foreigners there are no outsiders all are in the circle of his love all find a place in his heart all people all human beings are equally his beloved children we all belong to one family which has one father it means that every one of us is a brother and sister to everyone else catholic church of the holy spirit one family in love there is no room therefore for discrimination of any kind based on nationality race religion class or occupation the feast of epiphany tells us that god in the person of jesus is reaching to the whole world amen god is reaching to the whole world it's my dream as a christian as a priest as a missionary that everyone in the world will acclaim jesus as their personal lord and savior that to everyone god will ultimately manifest his glory finally my dear brothers and sisters the feast of epiphany is a reflection of the light through the birth of jesus we see the arrival of the light in the world the magi followed the brilliant star in the sky to them the light of the star was a symbol of hope of joy and of peace to them the star was but a small reflection of the fullness of the light of the world that awaited them at the end of the long and hazardous journey through the magi we see the light of hope of joy and of peace to come today's feast invites us to keep burning the light of christ that we received at our baptism just recently i was there for the baptism of the babies and i remember very well this uh, and this beautiful gesture of passing the light lit from the pascal uh, pascal candle and given to the child given to the foster parents but ultimately given to the child to tell the child from now you are a christian from now you have the light of christ keep burning this light all through your life till your death so we all remind ourselves of this beautiful light that we received at the time of our baptism it's our turn today my dear brothers and sisters as christ followers to manifest jesus to the world around us by our exemplary lives in accordance with the god's word and god's will i invite you to listen to this small uh, uh, short hymn no which will tell us exactly our mission as being the small light lit by god himself to brighten up the world around us we know this hymn i invite you eh? to sing to get this little light of mine i am gonna let it shine let it shine let it shine let it shine the light that shines is the light of love 
lies the darkness from above. It shines on me and it shines on you and shows what the power of love can do. I'm going to shine my light both far and near. I'm going to shine my light both bright and clear. Where there's a dark corner in this land, I'm going to let my little light shine. I invite you hmm, to sing. I'll sing a little uh, same version in, in French yeah, for those who understand French. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. C'est ma petite lumière, je vais le laisser briller. C'est ma petite lumière, je vais le laisser briller. C'est ma petite lumière, je vais le laisser briller. Laisse briller, laisse briller. Let's every this little light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine. Shines is the light of love, lies the darkness from above. It shines on me and it shines on you and shows what the power of love can do. I'm gonna let my light shine far and near. I'm gonna let my light shine bright and clear where there's a dark corner in this land. I'm gonna let my little light shine This little light of mine I'm gonna let it shine This little light of mine I'm gonna let it shine This little light of mine I'm gonna let it shine Let it shine let it shine. May the grace of the Lord make all of us a little star to one another by our exemplary life, by our beautiful words, by our beautiful smile, despite the pain that we undergo, despite the problems that weigh upon us. Let us continue to keep burning the light, the light that we receive at the time of our baptism. And thus, let us be today's Christ followers, exemplary, committed, warm-hearted to preach the good news of salvation. The world awaits always good news. So much of tragedies, so much of pain around us in the world. We Christians, we should turn this atmosphere of hatred, division into one of love, fraternity, peace, and joy. Our God has not created us for misery. Our God has not created us for, for anchor. Our God has not created us for division. We are his loving children because he is our loving father. So wherever we are, my dear brothers and sisters, we must spread the light of joy, the light of happiness, the light of peace, the light of oneness. And thus, we can be that, that little guiding star which arose, which arose on the Magi to lead them to the star of Bethlehem. Today, the feast invites us to be 
neither let it start. Let us ask the Lord to give us all the grace and strength necessary to continue shining in our lives by our exemplary life in the name of Jesus. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever shall be world without end. Amen.